He's here, the Phantom of the Open. The Phantom of the Open, released in 2021 and is directed by Greg Roberts, who has also directed the film Just Jim and Eternal Beauty. And this film is starring Mark Rylance, Sally Hawkins, Reese Ifans, Jake Davies, Christian Lees, Jonah Lees, Mark Lewis Jones, and Joanne Myers. And the reason why we're talking about The Phantom of the Open today is because it was a PayPal recommendation and donation from one of my longtime subscribers and contributors on this channel. She strikes again. She's always striking here. Name the Stars, thank you very much for your contribution. If any of you want to be like Name the Stars and help contribute and help support this channel, you can hit the PayPal link that is in the comments of this video. You can make a PayPal donation and send in a movie recommendation, and I'll give you a little shout out on the channel, just like I did here for Name the Stars. And it took me a while in figuring out what she wanted me to watch here, because in her listing, in her recommendation, you did list Phantom of the Opera 2021, and I was like, what, what, there's no Phantom of the Opera from 2021. There may be like a live performance version, but I'm not sure what's happening here. And the only thing that was popping up close to it was this movie. So I had to reach out to her to be like, you mean this one? And thankfully we do. So this is a nice little lovable little sports movie about the worst golf player of all time. Morris Flitcroft is a simple man working in a factory and has done so for many decades. But now things are looking like he's about to be laid off due to cutbacks. And because he is of an older age, his family is recommending that he does something fun and something enjoyable with the rest of his life. And one day watching TV in 1975, Morris watches golf for the very first time. So now Morris is gonna put every effort in becoming one of the greatest golf players in the world and playing in the British Open, which he ends up doing but has the worst score of all freaking time and if this were anyone else if this were you if this were me we would probably be embarrassed by that and i think there's a little part of him that may be embarrassed but the majority of this guy morris flitcroft is that he got joy from just living out his dream that he really just developed a couple of months prior. It's not the fact that you did it poorly, it's the fact that you did it. And that's freaking awesome. And if you think about it, that's so powerful. And that is a brilliant and beautiful mindset to have about your life. Does it matter that you win first place, second place, third place? Does it matter that you're the best? No. What matters is that you find joy and happiness in just actually doing the thing. There are so many people that we have in our lives who you hear them talk about certain things, about how they wish they could do something, or that, oh, if they only had the chance to do this, or if they had access to this, they would go out and do it. But they never go out and do it, right? Well, this is the story about a man who actually went out and achieved his dream. And at first, people made fun of him for it, but as he went along, people actually started supporting him because they could see the joy that he was having in just completing an 18 park course. And Mark Rylance is perfection in this film. He's unrecognizable. He's one of those background actors who's usually having like a supporting role in a lot of films, a lot of films that you've seen, trust me. So it's nice to see him get these leading roles in these later films in his life, and to see his brilliant acting showcased as the main character. He's a brilliant actor. A lot of those supporting actors in films really are. They just like being the supporting character because the supporting people are way more fun because they only show up for a couple of scenes and they have the chance to steal the show. Take that out of this review. If you have the chance to be an actor, be a supporting actor because you're there for the good parts but you're not there for every single thing and you can hang out in the green room it's fantastic i love how rylance carries himself and the, the dentures that he was wearing i'm sure helped with the accent and his cadence with his speech in this film again it's just unrecognizable and i've never heard of this flitcroft guy before i'm not a big golfer i mean sometimes i'll watch it i think i know like the big big names but never heard of this guy before never heard of the story before and the fact that this is a real life thing is it's adorable it's inspiring he goes out for the british open he shoots the worst score that has ever been made and the british open committee doesn't want him back at all but he still has the drive to go out and do it so he re-enters the open later on disguising himself <laughs> like what 
This actually happened? Oh my god. Mr. Flitcroft is the master of disguise. His performance is great in this film, and it's only amplified by the supporting cast that he has. Sally Hawkins, who plays his wife. The You can tell that she is the rock. She is the heart of that family and the one that is pushing him to just be happy. She does a great performance, and that's just a great little lesson to take in your life. If you can find someone who can be the rock that she is to Flitcroft in this movie, you need to stick with that person because they're going to push you and encourage you no matter what, no matter what the situation is. He has falling outs with his sons who he is encouraging to achieve their dream and then they're like, oh, this is stupid. I should have gotten like a real job. Like, no, no, no. You need to find a job that makes you happy. That's what we all need to do in this freaking world. It's something that I'm working on. It's something that you should work on. Happiness is just the key. That That's the meaning of life, right? Happiness is the only thing that we have control over achieving. And that's why so many people flock to this story to where this Flitcroft guy had an actual like ceremony and little tournament that happens right here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I live in Kalamazoo. Grand Rapids is a short little 45, 50 minute drive over here on 131. Like Grand Rapids? That's freaking cool! Apparently it's held every year too. I've never heard of this freaking thing before, but all of a sudden I kind of want to pick up golf and go to this tournament because it's a whole bunch of people who suck at the sport but still get enjoyment out of playing it. That's my type of people. The Phantom of the Open is such a lovely, inspiring film. It's one of those feel-good sports films that is about a sport that's not very exciting to watch, but it's very uplifting and we have beautiful performances in here. This was a pretty damn good time. I'm gonna give The Phantom of the Open four out of five Blu-rays. I like it a lot. So guys, if you've seen The Phantom of the Open, what did you think about it? Or if you've never seen it before and you stumbled across it because of this video, then comment below, let me know what you thought about it. And as always, if you like what you see here, if you like my take on movies, then hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell so you know the next time I'm released next movie review. So guys, I will see you next time on the channel, but in the meantime, be well, be good to each other, and go watch a movie. Take care, guys.